Okay, then we will come to a new lesson. This one is still there, so from now on basis. Now we are going to see how do you apply number basis or a number basis existing in the real life. Okay. Many things in our society and their life are in some basis as we are going to see. So now we are going to start by saying, can you identify some activities or some real life situations where we have basis? So here we are going to group ourselves into five and I'm going to pause the video as we try out this activity here. In the groups of five, comma, with the results, identify situations where number bases are applied in their life. At least five. So you are going to use this table. You are going to be having a situation where you see that this is something to do with the bases. Then you are going to give which base do you think that situation you are giving belongs to. Belongs to. Then you give a reason why you think that base is belonging in that situation. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Then after, I'm going to correct some and then we go through them. So please try out that in five minutes. Okay, from there, I've gathered some few here. We are going to go through them. The first group is telling me, is giving me the first example as fingers on one hand. So the first question here is fingers. On one hand, and then the base they are telling us is they are telling me the base is base five. Base five, and then the reason they are giving this is a group that is having I have three of them, so I'm reading their reasons. So the reason they are telling me is they are five. There are five fingers on one hand. Okay, how do you think about that group's ideas? So they are telling us that fingers on the hand, they are best five. For the reason there are five fingers on one hand. If you use two now, which base is going to be that? It's going to be the base one, base four, base ten. So I think there. They are very right. Did you think about that? Anyway, let me go to the next group. The next, the next group, they are telling me tires on a taxi. Tires on a taxi. They are telling me base four. Base four. So for them, they are, they are putting the tires in the taxi. This one, I think we know what a taxi is. A taxi, there can be cabs or there can be these ones which are carrying 14 passengers. So, they are telling me they are in this form. Then, the reason they are giving, they are four tires. Taxi has four tires. Tires. So, that's their reason. And I think they are very right. A taxi or a car. This simple car is not this big road because they are specifying a the taxi. There is a difference between a taxi and a bus. So, taxi has four tires and then. So, we go to the next group. We are going to give one example in this group. These ones they are talking about now. These ones they are talking about a small team. Team. They are telling me it's in base 11. They are telling me a team has 11 prayers. Prayers. Okay, I think you see that these members, I think they were very, 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 very correct. A team, a team on the pitch for any team when two teams are passing each other, then a team maximum should be having 
set, I mean, in the, the prayers, at minimum, they should be seven. But we go with it. The standards. The standards are maximum of 11, and I think they are right. So I think we can see there are many, many, many examples we can think of in their life. So I think we can add on the three in your groups. Then we can go with these ones, the first three. So prior of the second, prior of, I mean the fourth, and the third. So we are stopping at that. Then we've got something else here. Identify numbers on an amount. Any number in this way is written in the form of 1, 10, 183. I think from primary, remember when teachers were telling you that 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, and so on. So, any number, as long as that number is in this state, but the question is, where is the numbers in this state? What is going to happen when we are having numbers in different places other than 10? Okay, consider numbers, you know, we have 34. That you know that this 34 is the same one as 30 plus 4. But we say it always this first number here, blue part it from I. From primary, of course, we have this idea. This one is this one is saying it's always in ones, and this one has said it's in tens. Now, you see that this one is four times one, you will get still the four. Then this will be three times ten, you'll be having still five. Now, you see this is the tens we are talking about. That's why we can call this one that this number is in tens, this one is in ones. I don't know if you see that. So, to get this number now, it means that there are three tens in this number. There are three tens and there are four ones. So, we are going to use these ideas when we come to our ass. That's why I am first introducing this to you. So, you see that there are how many? I think you can see that. Then, these are how many? So, there are one, I mean, there are four ones and yeah, like that. Now, if we put now, let us put a number where we have hundreds. You say it in this one. You say in primary, this was one, ten, this was really hundreds. Now, it means that this is two hundred plus fifty. Then because this is in tens, that's this is two. That's why we have two zeros because it's in hundred, hundreds. Then this five is in tens. That's why we have one zero. Then this six is in ones. That's why it's like that. I think now you can see the same as two times one hundred, five times ten, then six times one. You see that now this number has six ones, five tens. Then two hundred. Hope that is clear there. Now, in this number, now we see that we can still break this hundred. So whenever I start, this one is one. This is in ones, tens, then a hundred. We can run this hundred in this case, and then this one will remain the same. I'm not simplifying. I'm just talking about this. We are going to pose a question here in the next lesson, and you are going to be answering that in your groups. So I think this is how I can break this. Now, some people now call this as ten tens. Ten tens. So these are just tens, but these are ten tens. So these are five tens. These are ten tens, but they are twice. So these are six ones. We are going to come to that. Be careful. I think remember this, this is how it has to draw. Ones, tens, then hundreds. I think remember that. I think you can see it there. Five is in tens, and then six is in ones there. Okay. Now the first one is in your groups, in groups of six, fill the missing gaps. One is going to be. Now we are going to group yourselves in six feet, in the groups of six, six. So I'm going to give you two minutes to present this. I'm giving you ten minutes because they are four. A number 334 has how many tens is this number having based on this idea? And dash ones. So you're just going to give me, you say one, you indicate there, and then you indicate there. So you post the video, then after you check the answers. Then a number 256, I chose 256 for the reason because this is our country for the 256 has dash hundreds. Dash tens, 
and dash ones. So you are going to tell him that this number has dash hundreds, dash tens, and dash ones, as we said. Then you come to this one. A number three, four, seven has dash hundreds, dash tens, dash ones. Four. A number three, five, six, zero has dash. Why does it be a good in thousands? Because it's like this is nine hundreds. Dash thousands. Dash hundreds, comma, dash tens, and dash ones. Present your work in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to, have to give you five minutes, then I correct some from members. Then, if you, you can post the video and then you try out and you see the answers we will be having. Okay. After that course, I think now everyone is having his or our answers. Now this group here, they are telling me that for them, they are having a number 34 has, they are telling me, three tens and four ones. Are they right? Is your group having the same because I'm just some point three? Is your group having the same? Are they four ones? Let us see. This third is in ten. This is three is in ten. I mean we have three tens. Then this four is in one. So meaning we have four ones. A number two five six has they are telling us two hundreds, then five tens and six ones. Is that the answer you have with your members? Okay. Now this one. A number three four seven. They are telling me they, they have three hundreds, then they, are, they have four tens, and then here they are saying six ones. Do you think they are right? Are these six ones? I think they are correct now, but let me check this group. I think the correct number was supposed to be seven. So these are supposed to be seven ones. Then this one, I think this one everyone now can feel and you feel this in your exercise books. Okay, the last digit of numbers of the number in any base is always in ones. So, no matter the base, the last digit is always in ones. So, let us based on this idea here. If you are in base 10, you multiply with 10. I think you can see with hundreds. But if you change the base, the only thing that is uniform is the last digit is always in the ones. Now, you start now this number is in base 8. Because you say this one is in base 8, because you said the number without the base automatically qualifies to base 10. Now, this one is in base 8. Now, our question is how are you going to handle this? Now, you see, if it was in base 10, we get 3 times 10. Then 4 times 1. You see that? Now, this one is in base 5. So, meaning we shall get 3 instead of 10 because it's in base 8, we will find with 8. Plus 4, because you said always the last one is in base, is in 1. 4 times 1. Using this idea. When we came to now, this one is in 5. What are we going to do? We are going to get now 3 times 5. Instead of like we did. This one is eight because it's best eight. So these are now in eights. So this is three is in eights. This is three is in five because of the base five. So we say that any now all digits in the base they should be below that base as you see there. Now this one is going to be three. They are now in the fives. Not in the tens because they're not in the base ten. Then plus four is in one. I think now in your groups you can try out this one here. When we come now to two five six now in base eight. Now look at this. When we had two five six in base eight, we say two times eight times eight. I see that. So you say if it's base ten, it's, it's now two times ten times ten. So you say these are now two. This is one. Now. This one in base 8 is going to be 2 
times eight times eight instead of ten because we are less eight. Then plus this five is now an eight. That's why I have five times eight. We said already this is in ones. When we come this in sevens, we have two. Now we multiply by two sevens. I'm only less than, but this one is not now less than. I'm not simplifying the average one. Why? As simple as that. Now when we come to this in nines, we have two times. Now this two nine. This first two already. Let us do this two nines. Then plus this five is now in nines. Okay. Like we said, this one is in tens. This one is in tens, but this now it was best ten. Now this one is best nine. So this one is in the nines. Nine and nine. We call them nine nines because they are two. So this one is in the base is in the nines. Then this one is in the ones. I think that's the idea. So you can try out this now. I'm going to put a question here, which you are going to find in your groups. When you simplify this and this and this, which place do you think those numbers are going to be in? You add that question to these two, and they are going to see more. In the next lesson, then you are going to see our abacus. But we needed these ideas, these ideas. So we needed them, so we are going to apply them to the next lesson. See you there. But please try out these exercises in the groups of. Uh, seven seven, then you're finding and safe.